Well, businesses both big and small also struggling in this cold, cold weather. People who might normally be out shopping and spending money are indeed hunkering down at home all to stay warm. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has a look at how one business is feeling the pinch. For Fred Kanda, almost every customer phone call starts with the same question and answer. Yeah, yeah. we are open. We made it here today. He's the owner of Excel RC in Garden City, the largest drone retailer in Michigan. Although this week's weather is nasty, he's decided to keep his doors open today. We've had to close several days uh, due to the roads, due to the snow. Uh, due to lack of customers. But despite the slow foot traffic, Canada has between 100 and 300 online orders to fill every day with the weather presenting a bigger and bigger challenge. We've uh, had issues with shipping, uh, with UPS, FedEx, uh, all being unable to get here or being tremendously late, delays in packages. On top of that, he's been forced to operate with a skeleton staff, several employees hitting their own weather woes. Vehicles not starting. Uh, one fellow had uh, two flat tires because his rims froze, basically. But while Excel RC is open, we surveyed some other storefronts in Garden City. Looks like this one is closed. Looks like this is also closed. And in one plaza, we found four out of five small businesses not operating. Big business, meanwhile, also took a hit today. Metro Detroiters facing a shutdown at Partridge Creek Mall due to extreme cold, along with Top Golf in Auburn Hills and the Detroit Opera House, which canceled tonight's performance of the Phantom of the Opera. And for an updated list of the businesses and government entities that are closed today, you're going to want to check out our website, WXYZ.com. For now, I'm in Garden City, Amira David, 7 Action News.